All right, everybody. It's been quite some time since I last recorded as part of this uh, whole movie, movie on the tiny house project. This movie will be over an hour, but uh, you know, each recording is, you know, anywhere from a minute to three minutes, five minutes, I don't know. I ended up moving this thing down here to my grandparents' farm. I had a two-wheel drive Colorado. Uh, that thing will not pull something like this as of now. Uh, July 2018, I went and traded that in for a four-wheel four drive Colorado um, that had the that could pull the full 6,000 pounds. Um, had had the 4x4 four four on it. Um, better, better suspension, so it pulls it better. This house only weighs, uh, last time I had it weighed at the weigh station was 2,680. It's going up a little bit each time I add things in there. Oh, almost fell on the ice there. A lot of progress. As you can see, I put the burgundy metal roof on top. Put all the boards on there, the white trim. I closed it all in here for the winter. Got the heavy duty tires underneath. I put uh, different springs underneath. I had to jack it up on each side and you know put these heavy duty springs on there, 2,000 pounds each, because it was just sagging. Shouldn't be using this type of a, a single axle trailer, but I did because it was cheap. There's my hose hookup. That uh, 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 one of those tan piping, um, C PVC whatever. I got a piece going through the wall inside, um, straight up the wall for the shower. It pokes out, and then it pokes out for the toilet inside. I have plumbing ready to go ready to go for the toilet underneath it will tie in with the shower that'll come straight down so when the snow melts here and it gets nicer out I gotta finish that up but I finished this up end of summer of 2018 and um, just got her done. Worked my ass off. And uh, she's just sitting here, ready to go to a campground or somewhere. I put a very thin rug down. I put this carpet piece here to still seal up the crack and stuff. Um, cause this whole door was just customized on there. It was really hard to do. But you come in and there's the shower head that heats up. Uh, back, uh, the white fiberglass backing, paneling all up. I got a cupboard right there. Shower base with a drain in it. I just got, I got all these vents covered up because of the air coming up. But that can be plugged in. It will heat up the water or cool it. I got a rope pulley to raise this ladder up out of the way. Got another cover right there. I'll put a whole cover right here, sink in there, run the piping through the wall for that. My bed will go up there, mount the TV there, put a fridge there. That's all. I mean, that's all it's left to do. Easy stuff compared to what, I, what else I had to do with this thing. Full closet. All my clothes will be in here.
This wall is all done. Pallet wood and paneling all mixed. I had to really measure around the windows and different things. But uh, I painted about getting the ceiling up there. Uh, I put screws up there and stuff. It's not perfect. It's all rustic in here. I, I just don't care. I'll trim around the windows. This thing was just, you know, done cheaply but nice. Just doesn't matter to me. I can move everything in this. Don't have to pay rent. Don't have to live at home or nothing like that. Save money. Whoever wants to live in it with me, that's fine with me and can put up with it. Alrighty. So that's that. I'll do another update.